Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be my laundry routine. So I told you guys that I was going to be sharing my laundry routine and that this is the first time I've ever shared a laundry routine on my channel just because I've always felt like I have never had it down and I wanted to be completely real with you guys and didn't want to share a laundry routine if I didn't have it together. It never worked for me. But within the last few months, I have found a system that actually works for me and I'm not sure if I've seen anybody else do laundry this way or not. If you've seen somebody do laundry this way, then definitely let me know down in the comments and I'll have to go check out their videos. But I'm just sharing with you guys what has worked for me and kind of how I do laundry and keep up with it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now before we get started, if you're new, go ahead and click that red subscribe button below so that you can join my family here on YouTube and make sure to say hey in the comments as well if you're new. I always love hearing from you guys. Let me know where you're from, all of that so that I can get to know you guys as well. And subscribing is totally free by the way. It just lets you guys know whenever I have a new video out so you don't miss it. So the kind of videos that you'll see for my channel are a lot of cleaning, decorating, hauls, and I even do day in the life vlogs, things like that so that you can get to know me better. But if you like that kind of stuff, then definitely make sure to subscribe. And also, if you are watching this video and you love getting to learn new routines and things like that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into my new laundry routine. All right, so for our laundry, we only keep three laundry baskets in the house for dirty clothes. So I have one big laundry basket in my master closet. I have one big laundry basket in our laundry room. And then I have one smaller laundry basket that's upstairs for the kids. And I usually keep this just in Gracie June's room because it's too, our bathroom is a little too small to keep it in there but that's all the laundry baskets that we have in our house. All right, and this is kind of how we use each of our laundry baskets. So for the big laundry basket that's down in our master closet, this is where mine and Chance's clothes go. We throw our clothes in there, we throw our towels in there that we use from the bathroom, wash rags, all that stuff goes into the big laundry basket in our closet. Then we also have the little laundry basket for upstairs for the kids all of their clothes and all of their towels and things that are dirty upstairs go into that basket. Now this is where our laundry routine is a little bit different from others that I've seen. So what we do with that little laundry basket is as soon as it gets filled, so no matter what day of the week it is, as soon as it gets filled, we take it down and we dump it into our master laundry basket. So the one that's in our master closet with mine and Chance's clothes, that's where we will dump the kids' clothes. Now, once that big laundry basket gets full, we will take that to the laundry room and that starts our laundry cleaning day for our clothes and towels. Now, because our laundry basket is so big, it's not gonna be just one load. So what I do is I always start one load of laundry, which ends up being about half of that basket. So I'll take the first half of the basket, I'll put it into the laundry or into the washing machine and I will start a load of laundry for that day. Once the laundry is done, I will put it into the dryer and then usually around lunchtime is when I will eat my lunch and then right afterwards, I will fold my laundry on the coffee table while I watch TV or whatever and get that load done. Now because I usually will only have time to fold one load of laundry, I don't start that next load until the next morning. So I'll go ahead and take the rest of that laundry, put it into the washing machine so that it's ready to go the next morning and I'll take my empty hamper, take it back into my master closet so that I'm ready to put any more dirty clothes in there for the next go around. Then the next morning when I get up, I go straight into the laundry room and I can go ahead and start that next load of laundry, then dry it and fold it around lunchtime. So anytime that my laundry basket gets completely full, that ends up being about two days of laundry and I just do them two days in a row. Now for the laundry basket that's in our laundry room, this is where all of our dish rags and all of our cleaning rags go or any other rags that kind of just get thrown around the house. Um, I'll just, we just throw them in there. It's just super simple. 
we throw it in there and then for that one usually when it gets about halfway full this is when I will start that load of laundry so that will only take me one day because I don't wait for that basket to get completely full I will go ahead and start that on a day that it's not cleaning day laundry day for my other clothes so this will be on a completely separate day I start the laundry I dry it and then I will fold it after lunch so for all of that laundry, it's usually done during the week and then while the kids are at school. And I will fold, like I said, I will fold the clothes during my lunch break. And then I will always go ahead and put all of our clothes up. I'll go ahead, if I'm doing the rags and things like that, that gets put up straight away. But for the kids' laundry, after I've folded that, I usually put it in a basket. And then I will put that basket on the stairs. So then that way, when we go upstairs, at, in the evening and get ready to do bath time or play time or whatever upstairs that's when I'll go ahead and unload that laundry basket and put all of their clothes away I really want to get to where I start doing this with the kids because they know where their laundry goes they know where to put it up and everything and they have helped me but I just need to get more consistent about having them do this with me in the evenings which would be so simple it's just the fact that I know that I'm so much quicker at putting up laundry but I know that I need to get them more self-sufficient and doing it with me so maybe that's something I'll start to incorporate in the near future all right so I'm sitting here trying to film and this big airplane just flies over top and I'm sitting here waiting for like five minutes for it to go away can you hear it I don't know if you can or not but don't they know I'm trying to work <laughs> All right, and the last part of my laundry routine is all of the bedding. So every weekend is when I will do our laundry for our beds. So I wash our sheets every single weekend. I usually put Kaysen and Gracie June sheets in together, and then I will do ours separately. I don't wash our comforters every week. That usually gets done about once a month, but the bedding and everything else, all the sheets and pillows and things like that, that gets done on the weekends. And like I said, I do the kids together, and then I do ours separately. And we do have a second set of sheets for each bed in the house, so this makes it so much easier when we get ready to do laundry on the weekends and do all the bedding. So that way, as soon as I pull the sheets off, I can go ahead and put our other set of sheets on the bed, make the bed, it's done, and I don't have to worry about it. And then I'll go ahead and wash our sheets over the weekend, fold them, put them up, and they're ready for the next weekend when I get ready to do the beds again. So if you don't have a second set of second set of sheets for your beds, then I highly recommend this. It has made my life so much easier. All right, now really quickly, I'm gonna show you, or tell you guys about some of my favorite laundry products that I'm using. So I know that you guys hear me talk all the time about the Mrs. Myers laundry detergent and the fabric softener. I love both of these so much. My favorite scent is the honeysuckle scent. So I use this all the time. I'm actually, I just ran out, but I'm waiting for my Grove order to get here so that I can get some more. But if I'm not using that laundry detergent and I'm going to the regular store and I am not crazy about a lot of the other Mrs. Meyer scents, so I will go back to the Gain Original. I love this stuff. Gain has always been a favorite of mine if I'm doing laundry and I'm not using the Mrs. Meyers. So that's my second favorite. And then I use the laundry detergent and fabric softener on our clothes that we are doing from the master closet, my kids clothes, all of that stuff, our regular towels that we use. We just throw those all in there together and that's what we use on those. Now for our sheets and stuff, we always use Clorox bleach. I don't know what it is, but I just love using Clorox bleach on our bedding. And then also for our cleaning rags and dish towels. I always use bleach on those. I don't know why, I just feel like it gets them really clean. And I love that smell of the bedding whenever I get into the bed, just that clean, fresh smell on our sheets. Another product that I also use, I don't use it regularly, but whenever I need it, it's there, and that is the odor cleanse, and it gets all, it just gets all the smells out of your laundry, so if you ever have any, like, old, dirty, or I guess not old, but any sweaty socks, um, just things that are just really smelly, mildewy towels, things like that, I will definitely use that on those, and it gets the odor right out of it, so I always have this on hand in case I need it. 
Now for drying, I do use any kind of dryer sheets. I'm not very picky about it. I just use whatever dryer sheets I have on hand, but I did pick up these um, dryer balls from Grove Collaborative and you just put essential oils on the balls and throw them in and then it works over and over and over again. So it's like dryer sheets, but it's dryer balls. So you could use those too. I haven't really used those yet. So I'll definitely let you guys know when I use them in the future, how I like them. I'm just trying to find the right essential oils for it because I'm not crazy about a lot of the scents that I have for my clothes. So I don't really want my clothes to smell like peppermint or lavender. So if you guys have any suggestions for any essential oils that I should use, then let me know in the comments below. I'll be forever grateful for you guys and your suggestions. All right, so that's pretty much my laundry routine. Let me know if you have any questions or if there was anything that I left out down in the comments below. Also, I have gained a lot of subscribers, some lots of new friends lately, and I would love to do a Q&A so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better, but I wanna know what things you want to know from me. So if you have any questions for me that I could do in a Q&A, leave them below and I can get that filmed for you guys so you can get to know me a little bit better. All right, so don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Jesus bitter. Oh. Jesus bitter, everyone.